Hey guys, uh, so I was uh, cleaning my bike and I thought I'd make a quick uh, review of the um, Omni LED tail fender lights for the Honda Goldwing 2018 plus. So I was in the market when I got the bike about a year ago, I was in the market for adding more lighting so that way you know folks uh, behind me can actually see me when I'm braking or when I'm you know turning and so on. So I was, uh, yeah there are a few out, out in the market and when I was looking at this product uh, at least I got tricked initially because uh, the demo of the product was in closed conditions meaning it was in a garage or it was in a studio and it looked quite good it looked bright enough and uh, stylish enough that I should try but when I actually got it and I had installed it the issue with this lighting is that during daylight or during broad daylight it's hardly noticeable so from that standpoint it was a, it's a big flop for me at least because I really wanted the lights to be bright enough during day conditions right of course during night it is it is visible but I really wanted to be bright enough during day conditions so that people could really see me and so yeah by the time I'd installed it that's when I really noticed it it was really not bright enough whatsoever and I was so <laughs> dejected and tired that I, I, I didn't return it I just thought I'll keep it but I, I thought I'll quickly make a review of this product so that way if anybody is in the market you know they'll, they'll get this information so it's really up to you end of the day you know if you're okay with uh, you know this being more visible during during in the shade or during night conditions perfect it looks good people will notice you but if you're really wanting it to perform during broad daylight this is an absolute flop in my humble opinion uh, from a pricing standpoint it is not cheap it is well made though but one would expect for the price point it it should be right it's about i think 240 dollars and you also need to buy the uh, wiring harness that uh, automatically like a plug and play with the uh, motorcycle wiring harness so that is about 60 dollars so all in all including tax it came to about 320 dollars shipping was free so for 300 dollars it's not cheap and so yeah so that, there you go guys i mean it's it's something i just thought i'll just share it with the community out there so what one is in the market at least they they have some idea about what this product can do and cannot do thank you